Good day everyone. Today we will discuss about interior and exterior angles of a convex polygon. But before we go on with our discussion, do not forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Feature Heal and Tech. So we start with our discussion about interior angles of a convex polygon. So we start with the triangle. We all know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So take note that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So we have this triangle and we can name this triangle as triangle A, B, C. And since we are talking about the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, so in symbol we have here angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So this is our angle A, we have angle B, and angle C, which is equal to 180 degrees. Now, the polygon with more than three sides can be subdivided into triangles by drawing all the diagonals from one vertex. So, let us start with the quadrilateral. So, we draw one diagonal from one vertex. So, we only have one. And let us study this table. So, again, we have the polygon triangle. The number of sides is three. The number of triangles form is one. We we don't have a diagonal from a triangle. Then, of course, the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. Now, for quadrilateral, after drawing a diagonal from one vertex, so we have the number of sides, which is 4. The number of triangles form, we have here 1 and 2. So, therefore, the number of triangles form is 2 when we draw one diagonal from one vertex. And of course, since we have two triangles in a quadrilateral, so it means that the sum of the interior angles is 2 times 180 degrees because we have two triangles and the sum of the interior angles of the triangle is 180 degrees. So 2 times 180 is equal to 360 degrees. So therefore, the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees degrees. Now let us have the pentagon. So we draw a pentagon here, then we draw diagonals from one vertex. So we have one, then another one from one vertex to another vertex. So we form three triangles. So we have here one, two, and three. So pentagon has five sides and we form triangles. How many? We have three. Since we have three triangles formed by drawing diagonals from one vertex and a triangle is or has the sum of interior angle which is 180 degrees. So 3 times 180 degrees is equal to 540 degrees. So therefore, pentagon has a sum of interior angle which is equal to 540 degrees. Now, let us have this uh, hexagon. So, we draw a hexagon here. Then, we form diagonals from one vertex. So, we have one, two, three. So, we have three diagonals from one vertex. So, of course, for filling off this table, so we have six number of sides for hexagon. Then, how many triangles we form by drawing diagonals from one vertex? So, we have here one, two, 3 and 4. So we have 4 triangles formed from this uh, figure. Then since we have 4 triangles and we need to multiply it by 180 degrees to get the sum of the interior angles of a hexagon. So what is 4 times 180? So we have 720 degrees. So therefore, the sum of the interior angles of hexagon is 720 degrees. But how about if we have n-gon? So n-gon is the generic name of a polygon with 
more than 12 sides. So, if it is 13 gone, 14 gone, 14 sides, 14 gone, 15 sides, okay, 15 gone, 16, 16 gone. So, we call it as N gone. N is depending on the number of sides. So, if it is N gone, how many sides do we have? So, we have N. Now, for the triangles formed by drawing diagonals from one vertex, from this pattern, how do we get the number of triangles formed if we have an N gone? So, from triangle, we have 1. From quadrilateral, we have 2. Pentagon, 3. Hexagon, 4. So, the pattern is just simply we subtract 2 from the number of sides. So, therefore, we will have N minus 2. Then, how do we get the sum of the interior angles of an N gone? Since we need to multiply the number of triangles formed by 180 degrees, so this will be the way on how we get the sum of the interior angles of an N gone. So, we have here 180 degrees times the quantity of N minus 2. So, this will be the formula of the sum of the interior angles of all the polygons, convex polygon. So, we have here 180 degrees times the quantity of N minus 2. So, this will be our formula to find the sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon. Now, for each interior angle of a regular convex polygon. So, each interior angle is equal to 180 degrees times the quantity of N minus 2 divided by or all over N, where N is the number of sides. So, let us have example. Find the measure of the sum of the interior angles of an octagon. So, if we need to find these uh, measurements of all the interior angles of an octagon, so we need this formula. Sum of the interior angles is equal to 180 degrees times the quantity of N minus 2, where N is the number of sides. And we all know that octagon has 8 sides. So, we will substitute 8 to our formula in N. So, we have here 180 degrees times the quantity of 8 minus 2. Then, simplify using the GEMDAS rule. So, simplify first 8 minus 2. We have 6. And what is the product of 180 degrees times 6? So, 180 degrees is e times 6 is equal to 1080 degrees. So, therefore, the sum of the interior angles of an octagon is equal to 1080. 80 degrees. Let us have another example. So, find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with 24 sides. So, again, we need the formula. Sum of the interior angles is equal to 180 degrees times the quantity of N minus 2, where N is the number of sides. Then let us substitute the value of N based in our given problem. So we have your 24 sides. So therefore, we will substitute N by 24. And then let us simplify using the GEMDAS rule. So 180 degrees. So simplify 24 minus 2. So we have 22. And what is 180 degrees times 22? So it is equal to 3960 degrees. So therefore, the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with 24 sides is equal to 3960 degrees. Now, let us have this example again. So find the measure of each interior angle of a regular dodecagon. Again, when we say regular dodecagon, this is a polygon with the same measures of sides and angles. So, let us have the formula. Each interior angle is equal to 180 degrees times the quantity of N minus 2 all over N. So, again, where N is the number of sides. Since we all know that a dodecagon has 12 sides, so therefore, we will substitute N by 12. So, we have here 180 degrees times the quantity of 12 minus 2 all over or divided by 12. Then, let us simplify. 
So simplify first 12 minus 2, which is equal to 10. So we will have 180 degrees times 10 all over 12. Then let us simplify first the multiplication because multiplication comes first before division. So 180 degrees times 10 is equal to 1,800 degrees. Then divided by 12. So 1,800. 100 degrees divided by 12 is equal to 150 degrees. So, therefore, the measure of each interior angle of a regular dodecagon is equal to 150 degrees. Now, let's talk about exterior angles of a convex polygon. So in figure at the right, we draw the exterior angles of the polygon by extending each side successively. So we extend each side here. So we extend it in one direction. So if it is clockwise or counterclockwise. So we did it counterclockwise. So we have here. Okay, then extend here on this side. Then we have on this side. Then also have this side. So we extend the sides okay, of the uh, polygon and the interior and the exterior angles at each vertex form a linear pair. So at each vertex, we form a linear pair. Okay, So it means that the sum of these two angles, Interior and exterior angles at each vertex is equal to 180 degrees. Now, to find the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon, we have here that it is equal to 360 degrees. So, again, the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is equal to 360 degrees, whether it is a triangle, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a decagon, dodecagon, 21-gon, 72-gon, or 100-gon. And to find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular convex polygon, so it is equal to 360 degrees divided by N, where N is the number of sides. What is the measure of one exterior angle of a regular decagon? So again, we need the formula. Each exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees divided by N. Since in our given problem that we have a regular decagon, so it means that the number of sides is 10. So therefore, we will substitute 10 to N in our formula because N is the number of sides. So we have your 360 degrees divided by 10. And 360 degrees divided by 10 is equal to 36. So each exterior angle of a regular decagon measures 36 degrees. Now let us have the second example. Find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon with 15 sides. So again, our formula each exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees divided by N, where N is the number of sides. Since in our given problem, we have a polygon with 15 sides, so therefore, we will substitute N by 15. So we will have 360 degrees divided by 15. And 360 degrees divided by 15 is equal to 24 degrees. So therefore, the measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon with 15 sides is equal to 24 degrees. So I hope meron kayong naintindihan sa ating discussion about interior and exterior angles of a convex polygon. So what Magkakalimutang mag-subscribe sa aming channel, Teacher Hill and Ted, and share this video to your friend. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and God bless.